is Lucy and today I'm going to be doing my September TBR and I'm also participating in the Magical Readathon so this will be my Magical Readathon TBR which is a readathon that's going on for the whole of September so I will link the announcement video down below and I am so excited and also just a quick announcement that I am mostly going to be reading fantasy books now I talk about it more in my blog and I'm also going to be posting at least twice a week maybe sometimes three times a week so just to let you know so this is a massive TBR and I don't know if I'm going to get through all of the books but I'm going to give it a go and yes I think you only need to read like two books to get to the next bit of the readathon but I have books for all of the prompts so let's go through it so the first prompt is a book with a map and for this I have chosen Aragon so with this TBR I've basically gone with books that I've been wanting to read for quite a while and I just haven't picked up so this is kind of a push for me to pick up some books that I've been really wanting to read so the first one is Aragon which I've never read and I know this is like a really popular beloved fantasy book and I've heard that the writing isn't that great but I want to check it out I'm going to listen to it on audiobook because I'm doing most of my reading via audio so I think basically all of these books I'm probably going to listen to on audiobook go audiobooks I love them so much and I've been finding them really helpful and really fun so highly recommend and also I do have a page on my blog where I've talked about like where to get audiobooks and free audiobooks so check that out if you're interested but yes yeah, so Aragon is about a boy who meets a dragon I think and I think there's like a elder like kind of like merlin yeah that's basically all i know like i don't really know anything so i'm really excited to check this out it's a really long book and i've really written down all of the hours for the audiobooks and i've worked out the times for the speed that i might read them at and then i kind of worked out how much i need to read each week and it was like about 13 hours so we're going to see what happens but yes this is a really long book I think the actual book has like 600 pages so the audiobook is 16 hours which isn't too bad seeing as I've recently listened to one that was like 26 hours so yes let me know if you've read that book or any of the books that I mention so the next one is a book that keeps tempting you and for this one I've chosen a new release which is She Who Became the Sun which I've seen everywhere basically and I was interested in picking it up anyway and I've heard people are really enjoying it and I think it's basically about this woman who she is given a fortune that she will basically amount to nothing and her brother will have like a great adventure and then her brother dies so she takes on his identity to take his fortune and to live this great life and so I'm getting like Mulan vibes and I'm really excited to check it out. The next one is a standalone book which I had to kind of think about this but I have The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho and I'm really excited to check this out. This is a really short book and it is so well known. It says on the back his books have had a life enhancing impact on millions of people and that's a quote by the Times. So I'm really excited to read some of this. I read a preview before and I don't really know how to summarise it. It's basically the story of a shepherd boy and he goes on a journey and I just feel like this is like a really impactful book but I don't know how exactly yet so I've heard really good things about it. I've been recommended it so I'm really excited to check this out and it's really short as well so that would be great for the readathon. I absolutely adore this cover as well like it is stunning it's so beautiful so yes excited to pick that one up the next one is a book with like a supernatural element so for this one I went with Wicked Fox by Kat Cho I'm so excited to read this book I've been wanting to read it for ages so it follows this character who is a gummy ho and she is like a fox um I think she's like a nine-tailed fox and she has to like consume the souls of men to survive I think and she loses her spirit bead which is like really important to her and she needs it and she meets this boy and I think there's like a romance and I'm just so excited to read it I've heard good things about it and I've been wanting to read it for the longest time the next one is a book that's like a thriller or a mystery so this one was a little bit harder to think of but there's a book that I've been wanting to read for a while and that is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia and I've heard so many good things about this book 
and I've just been wanting to pick it up. I think it's about this woman who like gets married to someone and she lives in this mansion and she writes a letter to her sister that she needs help. So her sister goes there and some creepy things are happening. And I think it's kind of inspired by this book about, I think it's called The Yellow Wallpaper, which was about this woman who her husband basically stuck her in the room staring at the wallpaper because she had like mental health issues and back then that's how some people thought that they could fix it so yeah I don't know how exactly it's linked if it's like very similar but we will see and I'm really excited to check that one out and as well it's getting closer to October which I know a lot of people love October and like reading spooky reads so that will kind of get me more in the mood for Halloween. I'm not like massively into spooky stuff and I will mainly be reading fantasy but I am quite excited to be picking up like at least one spooky book so yeah. The next one is a five star prediction and for this one I'm going with Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin and the reason that I've chosen this is because it's like a fantasy romance so I think that I may really enjoy it. So I think it's about a witch and this man who I think is possibly a vampire but they have to like get married for some reason and that's basically all I know but I know that some people are really enjoying this book and I'm excited to check it out and like I'm hoping that I think it's like an enemies to lovers thing which I really enjoy uh, that trope was like in Sorcery of Thorns which is one of my all-time favourite books so I'm hoping that I will really enjoy this one. The last one is a book with a school setting and for this one I've gone with Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger and that is because I've been wanting to pick this up for quite a while and this follows I think this girl who finds out that she is like an elf and then she gets whisked off to this magical world which I'm really excited to pick up. So I don't read a ton of middle grade but there are some that I am interested in so I am going to pick them up and see if I do want to read more middle grade. So I'm really excited for this TBR. A lot of books that I've just been wanting to read and I've heard good things about so I'm hoping that I will have some good reads this month. I'm going to try to read as many as I can. If I don't read all of them I'm not going to be too mad at myself because I want to relax with reading but yeah I'm going to try and read as much as I can and I'm super excited for this month and I'm really excited to be participating in the magical readathon so let me know if you're participating as well and let me know what your TBR is if you are so I really hope that you enjoyed this video please feel free to subscribe and like and comment and check out my other videos if you would like to I am going to be posting twice a week so I really hope that you will enjoy my videos and let me know if there's any videos that you would like to see I do have some plans but any suggestions are welcome and please leave a comment because I would love to chat with you in the comments and I hope to see you in another video soon. Bye!